on the pitch, they were acting all weird and they were dancing around. They were dressed up. People were calling this out, rightly so. And it was Alexi Lawless, former player, current uh, analyst for Fox Sports. He tweeted, don't kill the messenger. But this U.S. women's national team is polarizing. Politics, causes, stances, and behavior had made this team unlikable to a portion of America. This team has built its brand and has derived its power from being the best, winning. If that goes away, they risk becoming irrelevant. Perfectly stated. Perfectly stated, because the truth of the matter is people who even like soccer, myself included, was completely turned off by this team. And I'm not always turned off by folks who just simply have a position that I disagree with. They were acting a different way. And there, there's some folks, oddly enough, like Rolling Stone came out with some criticism because conservatives are obviously celebrating in a way. Finally, someone saying to, uh, to Megan Rapino, okay, yeah, relax and go away now. Chill with all the, the ego. Rolling Stone, written by a bunch of folks who hate this country, who are very critical of this country, are calling out Republicans who very much love this country for calling out Megan Rapino, who also dislikes this country and its institutions, which is the only reason Rolling Stone likes her. I know the, the diagram is very confusing, but that's the truth. Now, after she did her interview, hopefully her last, although it's not going to be her last. Definitely not going to be her last. Ugh. But definitely the last after a World Cup game. And she said this. Is there a memory that stands out to you right now in this moment? Oh, um. Just real quickly, because it feels like this is an easy question. The idea of representing my country in the world's largest, most viewed, most celebrated sports tournament. We won twice, and I am proud to be a part of that. That was history making. That was amazing to be however small or big of a role you think I played. That's what I remember. I mean, probably equal pay chance. Yeah, of course. Um, equal pay chance. That's what you're most proud of. Not even, by the way, your efforts to get quote unquote equal pay. It was the chance. Um, after the final. Um, and I think, you know, they were saying equal pay, but could have been saying a lot of things. I think this team is. That part's true. Could always fought for so much more and uh, that's been the most rewarding part for me of course playing in world cups and winning championships and doing all that but um you know to know that we've used our really special talent to do something you know that's really like changed the world forever oh, i think hero. that means the most hero. to me and, a hero. you know the players in this locker room here um they're just getting started and you know to all the players that i've played with obviously um, you know, who know what it's like to be in the grind. Um, mm -hmm. That's the best part. Yeah. Weird, you didn't bring up your recent activism on transgender issues and gender identity and how you think that transgender athletes should actually play in a female-only league. And it's weird you suddenly took that up now that you kind of knew you were retiring and wouldn't actually have to play against a transgender female. Weird how all of that works.